Arnold Schwarzenegger is Bach. That's the best I can do as far as impersonating a person with an accent while having an accent of my own. But he's back and he is uh, making a good case for people driving electric cars. Uh, he uh, made this three, uh, I think three and a half minute video, which I will walk you through in just one second. I hope you already seen it. Um, there is kind of a commercial where he goes into, um, uh, he puts a disguise on, though some people I cannot believe not recognize him anyway with his big, you know, uh, figure and uh, the accent and, you know, but uh, some, some don't and that's for a manager. And he's trying to sell gas cars uh, to people at the dealerships uh, where they're trying to buy uh, the electric car. So it's kind of interesting, but does it really hit the spot? So let's talk about it right now. I'm back. Okay, I'll stop. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything moving forward. And if you already have, Boom, there is a bell notification icon as well. All right, so um, Arnold starred in this uh, interesting commercial ad for uh, the electric car. So, it, you know, on one hand, uh, you know, it's definitely awesome to have a celebrity, especially as big as Arnold, who's like a muscle, you know, guy who, you know, would everybody expect, to, you know, to drive a gas guzzler, which he used to, and then he converted uh, the Hummer into an electric car, which was pretty cool. I think he also converted his Mercedes into an electric car. Um, so, and you know, he was a governor of California, and even though he was a uh, and still is, I think, Republican, he was definitely pro uh, green energy and pro electric cars. So it's great to have a perfect celebrity really to endorse electric cars. Not sure what took him so long, really. I mean, I wish he would actually create uh, videos like this on a regular basis. He would really help, and it's not like. He seems like he's doing that much nowadays in terms of movies or politics and stuff like that. He's obviously older. I think he's in his 70s even, you know. So, um, actually, let's find out. Alexa, how old is Arnold Schwarzenegger? 71, my, my she says. Okay, so he's in his 70s. And uh, it's, uh, you know, maybe it's time to give back, right? Anyway, uh, let's uh, play this uh, this ad and, and go over some, because I'm not really sure he hit all the right points, but you tell me, like, would this appeal to you, especially if you are not driving an electric car, let me know. Before we get into that, a quick reminder, um, and a video of its own from Byton, our sponsor, check out the old electric m -Byte coming to the US and Europe, starting at only $45,000, that's right, that's before the incentives. But also before incentives is zero dollars to put down to reserve one. So go to the description of this video. There's a link. Um, it's about, I don't know, 60 seconds stops. Reserve your Biden today and that way you will be ahead of a lot of other people uh, uh, next year. Okay, so let's play this video. And again, you either seen it, but I'll walk you through this. Really, I can I can walk you through this. So he basically, you know, there this dealership in uh, um, uh, Burbank, which is probably not the best you know, place on earth to disguise yourself if you're an international movie star right there in Hollywood. So he's basically uh, Velos, right? That's that's the company he, he is co collaborating with. I've never heard of them, to be honest with you. So I'm kind of wondering how they got him to do it because there's so many other ones. So, you know, he puts on the disguise, which is really not much of the disguise. Um, and uh, he basically goes out there. I think this is too much. <laughs> um, and then he becomes uh, the kicking gas uh, a, a star. So, all right. So he's come comes up to different couples and peoples and asks like what they want. This guy obviously recognizes him, uh, but he keeps kind of playing along. You know, he's asking about you know what kind of things that you're looking for, and he says electric. And you know, one of the things the guy mentioned is is actually kind of interesting that some of them mentioned that they want a quiet car. Now Arnold shows up in a Hummer, which I guess suits him. But then this couple goes like, what's going on, right? Now, this guy did not recognize him because he later <laughs> asks for the managers, which I just don't quite know how he can do that. And this couple is pretty sweet as well. But then they mention that they don't want to pay enough on the pump. And he goes from pump to, you know, how it's, you know, better than sex. And that's, I think, where he kind of lost me there. I'm not quite sure if. Yeah, anyway, so that was kind of weird. Um, and then the, the guy said, another person says, I want a carpool sticker. And then he brings up a bunch of funny stickers. But I think um, this also doesn't always ring true with people. Don't forget, we're in California. 
And not all states and definitely not all countries have the uh, carpool stickers uh, as, as a benefit. As a matter of fact, in, in, uh, in here in, in California, some of them really ex uh, expired, even though it's uh, these are uh, all electric cars. So if you're buying them used, then that sticker doesn't really stick, if you will. Um, so people are talking about the tax credit and he goes like, well, what do you need tax credit when you need street credit? By the way, it's street cred, really. Nobody says street credit. Um, so and then he goes all the way into how like uh, we want to curve the population uh, and the lady's look on her face is kind of priceless. Um, and, uh, you know, I. And by the way, this him sitting in the backseat of, uh, I think this is his knee, uh, the Leaf, right? The new Leaf doesn't really go, give justice to the small electric cars because they're so tiny because, you know, that way they can go further. I just don't know. Sometimes I feel like they didn't think everything through. Uh, so, anyway, this whole thing continues and is getting more and more ridiculous. So uh, and, and you can watch it on your own. Then they everybody asks for a manager and and he comes in in a different disguise. So I'm going to stop the video at this point because I just kind of wanted to show you that um, it's great to see him making fun of this. But I'm not really sure if they have this, you know, uh, sort of dismantled all the myths, right? So because the myths are, and we just did an article, uh, this the article review with Eli of New York Times article um, just just earlier today, when a lot of people's concerns are is charging and the speed of charging and long distance traveling. This is something that people are concerned about. And yes, there are benefits, and you know, the car being quiet. I don't know if that's big of a benefit. I think it's just one of the things that you can enjoy, but Honestly, when you're on a high speed, if you're driving an electric car, you know that the wind and tire noise kind of kills it. I mean, it's just it's just not it's just as loud as it's in a gas car, as long as it's not a really loud, like, you know, muscle car. So, you know, and, and you know, carpool stickers and incentives are all great, but I really hope that we're moving past that. I think these ads need to be more about like, hey, these cars are just better than gas cars. Not like, oh, but we got a handicap score for you, right? With a culprit. You know, I think we need to pass move, move past that. Like, you know, talk about the torque. Bring in, you know, you know, torque is great. Like even my Volt, I got to tell you, I put it in a sports um drive and pretty much every time I leave my house and I'm able to beat motorcycles sometimes because the torque is still electric torque and it's really good like that's something that you want to sort of emphasize you know emphasize all this great new technology um, that electric cars have um, emphasize the fact that they don't have to spend as much time or any time refueling and the amount of money they're going to save because in this case it looks like it's the customers who are kind of trying to tell them that but you just kept cutting off with kind of this weird jokes but okay this is me I know you guys are already weren't that happy when I kind of took the Audi's uh, commercial apart. Um, they were trying to kind of do the same thing. I don't know. I just think that the, the, our message here is so clear that um, anything that uh, stays on that message is almost distracting, right? Um, again, the overall impression that I have is that it's good to have Arnold doing this. I hope he does it again. I know this is going to get more publicity than obviously just here um, and it has already been all over the electric car community and electric car publications so that's great but we you know we, we we don't need this we need this to be outside of our bubble we need these people who have not been thinking about buying electric cars or a little bit afraid of them to see this and say huh well that's interesting even Arnold Schwarzenegger thinks we you know he's making fun of essentially us people who are driving um, gas cars so I think maybe that would be the approach but uh, listen, whatever, if, if any little any little thing helps. So let me know if you are driving a gas car right now or if you uh, pretend like you were before, right, because you have, let me know. Do you think this re is really appealing uh, to those people outside of our bubble? While you're doing that, don't forget to get on our VIP list. Bonus story every Saturday for free. Go to eforelectric.com slash um, uh, uh, VIP. Uh, and also, thank you to one of my newer Patreons, Kevin Wong. Thank you so much for joining my Patreon community. Uh, the only place where you can watch me live and, of course, support this independent channel. I appreciate all of my Patreons. Thank you so much, guys, for your contributions, which could be as low as $1 a month. All right. Uh, looking forward to your comments. Other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.